Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. Today I'm gonna to share with you the reveal of my So Frugal 22 make. If that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Hi everybody, I feel like it's been a minute since I've chatted with you. Um, the month of March was crazy with travel for me. I don't usually travel at all. And then I had three different trips one week after another. And so I didn't get a whole lot done, but I did finish my So Frugal 22 make. So um, the So Frugal 22 challenge is hosted by Sam from Frugalissima and Ruan, Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And the idea behind it is that you find a free pattern that is widely available to anybody and use fabric from your stash. So Sam and Ruan have um, amassed quite a lot of sponsors for the challenge and there are a lot of prizes. So hopefully you are, because today is the deadline. <laughs> so if you haven't already decided that you were gonna participate, then you might've missed the boat, but if you're a fast sewer, then you might be able to join by the end of day today. So uh, what you have to do is you have to find the free pattern, use fabric from your stash and make something for a human. It can be for any human. It doesn't have to be for yourself. And then post a photo of it on Instagram today, March 31st. Um, use the hashtag SoFrugal22 and tag Sam at Frugalissima and Ruan at the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And that's all you have to do to be entered for a prize. If you have multiple makes, then they should each have their own post. So don't do the, you know how you can post several pictures in one post? Don't do it that way. Post each one individually so that Sam and Ruan can uh, track it easier. Um, all right, so that is the rules of the game. So let me tell you what I made. If you wanna see what the options were for the items that I had, or the patterns that I had found online and my fabric stash that I was gonna pair with it, then check out the video here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna jump into the one that I chose. If you've been following me on Instagram, then it's probably already uh, been revealed to you. But I decided to make the peppermint pattern collaboration within the folds play suit. I'll post a picture of it here. These are the line drawings. Uh, I'll also post a picture of the marketing image. It is this, just this super cute, short overalls play suit. And it is the way that they describe it is that it's semi fitted in the bodice and then it's relaxed in the waist and the hips. And um, it has the it has ties on it. It has an invisible zip down the side, patch pockets on the front. Super cute. The um, fabrics that they recommend are light to midweight fabrics such as linen, linen blends, cotton, gauze, or chambray. Um, you could also consider sateen, silk, tinsel, or rayon for a dressier look. And for a boxier silhouette, you could use lightweight denims or heavyweight cottons. The sizing on the garment, it goes from sizes A through J, which cover a full bust of 30 inches through 51 and a half inches. Um, they do tell you that when you're figuring out your size to use the upper bust measurement and then decide whether you need a full bust adjustment or a small bust adjustment. Um, the pattern is drafted for a B cup bust. And then the finished garment measurements for the bust are 30 and three quarters inch to 52 and three eighths. Oh yes, 52 and three eighths inch. The fabric requ requirements um, range from one and a half yards to 2.8 yards. And of course that depends on the width of your fabric and the size that you're gonna make. So, um, here's the deal. I thought that I had this pattern actually printed because I get all, if you follow me, you know, I don't like to paste or tape together patterns. So I send all my PDF patterns to PDF plotting. Um, but I discovered that this is one that I had not sent. So I actually, because of the timing, I actually had to print it out and tape it together. It wasn't terrible. 
Um, it's not something I want to do um, on a regular basis, but it wasn't terrible. It was easy to do um, and didn't take me that long. So I did tape it together. There are seven pattern pieces. Um, there aren't multiple versions of this pattern, by the way. It's just the play suit. Um, you could you could hack it though. I mean, I could easily see this being hacked into a longer jumpsuit. In fact, I contemplated hacking it into like a um, capri length jumpsuit, which I think would have been super cute as well. Um, I don't know how, but I'm sure it would be easy enough to figure out to hack it into a dress as well. Um, but yeah, it's just super cute. So the pattern pieces are the front piece, the back piece. There's a front facing, a back facing, which you sew together and it makes an all-in-one facing. There's a patch pocket and then there's a pattern piece for the front straps and a different pattern piece for the back straps because they're a little bit longer. So it's pretty straightforward. This pattern is does require a 16 inch invisible zip. Now here's my question for you. <laughs> Um, this is the first time I've installed a zip in over 30 years. So I haven't done it since I was sewing back in the 80s. And um, when I went to Joann's to find a zipper, I was in the invisible zipper section and my options were either um, 12 to 14 inches or it jumped to 20 to 22 inches. There was nothing in between. There were no 16 inch zippers. There weren't even spaces like they were sold out. They're just, it just jumped from one to the other. So I got the 12 to 14 inch, it was fine. Um, and the way that the zipper was installed, like it didn't, it wasn't confusing to me that I was missing two inches of a zipper in the installation process. But tell me, is 16 inches not a typical or standard invisible zip size? Is that why I couldn't find it? It didn't end up being an issue, but I'm just curious. Okay. Um, so talked about all that. Um, all right. So the steps for the instructions were super easy to follow. It does say that this is, it doesn't rank like beginner to advanced. It does like one, it does numbers like one, two, three, four, five. And it was a one and a half, <laughs> which I would say is like advanced beginner. I would agree with that. The only step that was complicated was the zipper. I did struggle following those instructions, but I just, I read it through several times. I took my time. I did, I went step by step and I feel like I did a pretty decent job. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but I was happy enough with it. Um, it's on the side, so it doesn't, um, you know, I don't know if you can see that. So it's not perfectly invisible, but I think for my first time, it's pretty good. Um, the only thing I didn't love is it didn't have you tack it down on the bottom, which I can easily go back and do, but I don't know why the instructions wouldn't have you do that. Is it because it's invisible? Maybe, I don't know. I figure like there's a way to do it without it going through on the top side. Anyway, it's fine. Um, so I didn't have any trouble with the zipper actually, even with the zipper in the facing, um, at the top, uh, their instructions were clear and I didn't have any trouble with that. So I was happy with that. Um, oh, <laughs> I didn't, well, if you watched my video, then you knew what fabric I paired with it. So I used this fabric that I got last year on my Socation, um, and I got this um, it's an Ankara fabric that I got from A to Z Fabrics in Fort Lauderdale. I will tell you that um, I think almost all of us found some fabric there and almost all of us had issues with the fabrics that we found there um, while we were there, thankfully. So this fabric, the bolt, there were sections that had just this like, I don't know, gunk on it. So I was able to get um, a three yard section um, that didn't have any gunk on it and she cut that out for me. So that was good. Maddie had a fabric that had a big hole in the middle. So, but the girl was able to cut around that, but every, every bolt of fabric had something going on. The quality of their fabric is not great. Um, in fact, I didn't discover an issue with this fabric until I finished my make and I am not thrilled about it, but I don't think it's going to be super noticeable. You tell me. Um, 
there's just, there's a spot that didn't get printed. And unfortunately that's on the front um, of my play suit, which is kind of a bummer. <sighs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, all right. So the zipper was the only step that I had to like really go through slow and I didn't have any issues with that. The only modification that I made was the pockets. So it does have patch pockets on the front. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't pattern match because the pattern is so busy, but um, yeah, it's got this nice big patch pocket and it has you install it the typical way where you fold down the top and then you fold the sides in after you finish them and uh, just top stitch it on. I learned, I started um, lining my pockets. So I actually cut out an extra piece and I sew the pocket right sides together and then leave an opening and flip it inside out and then um, tuck the seam in and then I top stitch it that way. Um, and it just makes for a nice clean pocket. And I learned that from my friend Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room and I do all my patch pockets that way now. Um, it's just nice and easy and um, you're not fiddling with the edges and making sure that they're folded under and then you don't have those edges, um, you don't get scratched by those edges when you're sticking your hands in your pocket. So it just makes it nice and neat. Um, all right, so now to the problem. So I made, so I'll put the size chart up again. I, I've been trying to improve fit, right? And most of the patterns that I make from indie pattern makers, peppermint pattern included. So peppermint, seam work, fiber mood, um, all those guys, their patterns, when I make it for my body measurement, the patterns are super boxy and big. Typically, that's what I like, but I do realize that's not the most flattering. So, I have been trying to reduce the ease while not, while keeping it from being too tight. So, I used my body measurements, but then I went and looked at the finished measurements. And based on the finished measurements, I decided to make the size I, which is one step down from the largest size J. Well, don't you know, this one time <laughs> that didn't work for me because the top is too tight. I can't get it zipped up. I can get it up to the waist, but then when I get to the boobage area, it's a no-go. Um, I thought that it was a mistake in the pattern because I had followed the finished measurement sizes. But then yesterday I had to measure myself for something different and apparently I've gained a little bit of weight. <laughs> so that's just an FYI, a PSA, you should measure yourself for every garment. I mean, I know it's a pain in the butt, but I would have avoided this mistake. I would have made the size J and I would have had a play suit that fit me and I would have been super happy because this is the cutest darn thing ever. I'm going to insert pictures. I have to show you the pictures on a hanger because I can't zip it up. Um, and I'm just, I'm bummed. So I reached out to my sewing buddies and their advice was to either put um, strips of fabric on the side seams. So on either side of the zipper, on that side, and then on this side, but make it look intentional. So find a coordinating fabric. I thought that was a really good idea. I could also do it down the center seam, the front and the back. Um, but I also started, I joined a new weight loss program um, this week. And um, I'm getting all the materials and everything. I have an appointment with a doctor next week. Um, and it's going to be a medically supervised program. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and see how that program goes and see if if it's successful, then I will just wait until I lose a little bit of weight um, to get into this because um, trying to add a coordinating strip of fabric on either side of that zipper seems a little daunting to me. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to wear it in the short term anyway. 
So I think I can wait a little bit of time. Um, the one thing I wanted to share with you is I also made this um, t-shirt to go with it. This t-shirt's not free. I had this pattern already printed. I didn't, I, there are a ton of free t-shirt patterns out there. So you could easily make a free t-shirt to go with the play suit. I'm never gonna wear that play suit without a t-shirt, even though the model does, that's not gonna happen here. So um, I made this cute t-shirt and I think that the fabric coordinates perfectly and I'm really happy with that. So I'm, this obviously is not part of my entry for the So Frugal Challenge, but I'm still gonna enter my, my play suit. Hopefully entering it um, as a picture on a hanger will count because um, I can't post a picture wearing it because I can't zip it up. Um, all right, so that's, that's really it. Tell me what your thoughts are um, on anything that I talked about today. Um, would you take the time to make it fit now or would you wait um, if, you're on, if you've started a weight loss program? Tell me what your thoughts are on that. I'm curious to know. If you liked this So Frugal Challenge, then, I, then take a look at my So Frugal 21 Challenge video. I'll post it here. Um, wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in and I will talk to you on Friday for sure. Bye.